Hello and welcome to News Click. Nothing drives us more than standing in solidarity with the people's movement. Our teams are on the ground covering these movements extensively and hoping to bring out a change. In this segment, we bring you a roundup of various such protests and movements that have taken place across the country over the past few weeks. A massive protest march by farmers from Uttar Pradesh to Delhi with a charter of 15 demands turned violent at the border on October 2nd, with police using water cannons and tear gas to disperse them. Led by the Bharatiya Kisan Union, thousands of protesting farmers were on their way to the Kisan Ghat in the national capital to demand complete loan waiver, revoking ban on 10-year-old tractors, implementation of the Swaminathan Commission recommendations and payment of sugarcane areas, among others. <laughs> Students from the Hidayatullah National Law University in Raipur, Chhattisgarh, who have been protesting since September 25th against maladministration and corruption of Vice-Chancellor Dr. Sukhpal Singh, decided to go on an indefinite hunger strike on October 1st. Sukhpal Singh has been at the centre of controversy since a professor at the university who was accused of sexual harassment had been allowed to teach without taking notice of mass protest by the students. Highlighting the maladministration, corruption and complete apathy and indifference towards sexual harassment complaints, issues of differently abled students and welfare of all the student community in the campus the students had so far met the Chancellor of the University and Chhattisgarh Chief Minister with their demand charter. Following the mass protest by students, the Vice Chancellor finally resigned on 2nd of October. With deaths due to sewage cleaning increasing, the Safai Karamchari Andolan, along with various NGOs and students, organized a protest in the city on 2nd of October and later submitted a memorandum to the Prime Minister urging that he intervene in the matter. They also demanded strict implementation of the Manual Scavenging Prohibition Act 2013 and its provisions. The families, neighbours and friends of the Safai Karamcharis who lost their lives in the sewers took to the streets to make their voices heard in Delhi. एक ही लड़का कमाने वाला था वो भी चले गया भगवान लेके गए शिवर लाइन की मौत से तो हमको अभी डर लगता है। On 30th September, around 10,000 elderly people from across the country came together at a pension parishad protest organized at Janta Mantar in the capital. They demanded universal pension rights for the elderly, single women persons with disabilities and other poor and vulnerable workers of the unorganized sector. The protest took place just two days after the release of the State of Pension Report 2018, which had indicated how out of 80 million people who are entitled to the government pension of Rs 200 per month, the amount was reaching to only 22 million people. The government has given 11 years of the government and हर स्टेट में भारत सरकार का जो कोटा है पेंशन का वो 200 200 रुपए देता है स्टेट की अपनी हैसियत है तो वो थोड़ा अपनी तरफ से मिलाता है दैट्स ऑल फॉर दिस वीक टू फॉलो डिटेल रिपोर्ट्स ऑन दीस प्रोटेस्ट एंड मूवमेंट्स प्लीज विजिट आवर वेबसाइट एंड आवर फेसबुक पेज थैंक यू